Many patients have uh, pressure or pain that builds up in their ears. Uh, this is a lot of times caused by something called eustachian tube dysfunction. The eustachian tube is a tube that releases pressure from the middle ear uh, into the back of the nose. This tube is surrounded by cartilage and bone and usually releases pressure um, from that ear. Sometimes when we fly or go up an elevation, we can get pressure that builds up. And this is the tube that helps us pop our ears. Now, if this tube gets swollen either from allergies, inflammation, or infection, then the, tube, the opening to the tube in the back of the nose doesn't open properly. And when that happens, the pressure in the ear stays built up and sometimes fluid can even accumulate in, those, in that location. Many things can cause this. This can be caused by allergy, infection, or sometimes something blocking off the opening to the eustachian tube. And there are many treatments that have been tried in the past. We've, we try nasal sprays. We try other medications to help decrease swelling. Sometimes people get ear tubes to relieve that pressure and allow the pressure to drain out through the eardrum. Unfortunately, all of these are kind of like Band-Aids, wherein they don't treat the underlying cause of the pressure, uh, but they do give general rel relief for a short period of time. Uh, we have a new procedure called eustachian tuboplasty, where we place a balloon through the nose all the way to the back of the nose where that eustachian tube opens up. And then we're able to gently insert the balloon up this tube uh, until it reaches this narrow bony portion. Once the balloon is in the tube, we can inflate it and keep it inflated for a few minutes to allow us to stretch open that eustachian tube. The balloon is then removed, the patient is awakened, and people do very well from this procedure. The reason this works is because we stretch out the tube and we also cause microscopic changes in the cells of that tube, which regrow into cells that work better and they allow that ear to breathe better. This is an excellent procedure that will help many patients get improvement in their pressure in their ears, especially if they build up fluid or uh, have pain or things that don't go away with traditional uh, conservative treatments. Once the eustachian tube is dilated, this is something that should last for a long time and hopefully a lifetime. And it's had, it has been shown to have a very good track record with our patients uh, receiving uh, this treatment and they have had very good results. The benefits of this procedure are that it's minimally invasive, it's very quick, the recovery is uh, very short, and uh, there's minimal pain involved with uh, this procedure. And it's also something that should be more long-lasting than placing an ear tube.